Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. I have a short report for you today. There are some upcoming legislative deadlines that I would like to keep you apprised of. June 27th is the last day for policy committees to meet and report bills, and a recess is scheduled from July 3rd to August 4th. A new Senate pro tem was elected on June 16th, Senator Kevin DeLeon from Los Angeles. Senator Steinberg will stay in the position until November, and Senator DeLeon will take up the position then. On June 20th, the governor signed a $156.3 billion budget with $107.9 billion in the general fund. For context, this is approximately $9.5 billion larger than the general fund in last year's budget and $8.5 billion <coughs> more than the total budget for last year. The general fund is also approximately $17 billion larger than for this year's budget than it was in 2009-2010, and this year's um, total budget is approximately $33.9 billion greater than it was that year. I will begin by updating you on the progress of AB 2108, the bill by Assembly Member Eggman on flood management, which was discussed at the last council meeting. The bill is currently being held in committee, and the author's office has indicated that discussion on the bill will occur in July. The debate over the water bond continues with several water bonds moving forward, including SB 848 by Senator Wolk, AB 1331 by Assembly Member Rendon, AB 2043 by Assembly Members Conway and Bigelow, and AB 2686 by Assembly Member Perea. Today is the stated deadline for getting a water bond on the ballot. However, as I stated last month, there is believed to be flexibility in this deadline. Additionally, some of the water bonds have undergone amendments since the council last met, including Senator Wolk's bond and bill and AB 1331 by Assembly Member Rendon. Senator Wolk's bond bill was heard on the Senate floor Monday, and the vote was 22 to 9 along partisan lines, falling short of the two-thirds vote requirement to pass out of the Senate. <coughs> but reconsideration of the bill was granted. Senator Wolk's bond bill is seen as the consensus bill in the Senate. However, there are still no Republicans who voted for it, and earlier this week, it was reported that the governor was meeting with legislators to discuss his priorities in a water bond, with Jessica, which Jessica just described. The discussion over groundwater legislation also continues in the legislature, with two bills on groundwater management, AB 1739 by Assemblymember Dickinson and AB 1168 by Senator Pavley. Both bills contain provisions that require sus groundwater sustainability plans for higher medium priority basins identified by the Department of Water Resources. Both bills were passed to appropriations committees earlier this week. In conclusion, the legislature is scheduled to begin a month-long recess on July 3rd. Groundwater discussions are expected to continue after the break, while the water bond likely needs to be decided before the break. Thank you. That is all I have to report today. Good report, Elizabeth. Any questions for Elizabeth? Okay. I do have a question for Jessica. Um, you mentioned four vacancies. What are they? Oh, testing my knowledge. Well, uh, my former position, the legislative and policy advisor, uh, we also have a, another engineering position, and then there are two more that I cannot recall right now. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Elizabeth. Yeah, there's a lot of discussion about timing of the bond. Um, you know, the, the legislative calendar indicates um, that today, June 26, was some sort of aqua apocalypse, which was a drop dead date for revising a bond for the November ballot. However, at least based on my experience in the 2000, with the 2009 bond, um, those dates can be flexible. It, it depends a lot on the Secretary of State's office and um, also on local county needs in terms of printing ballots. So I have heard uh, that there are a lot of uh, folks who would like to get something renegotiated by July 3rd before the legislature moves into break. However, um, that would be a tall order, so it's really not clear at this point. Um, if anything develops that's notable, I will keep you apprised via email, but you'll probably read it in the press first. So I'd like to move on to uh, our legal update. I believe we have our intern. Adam, come on and join us up here. So council members. Uh